episode 13 of the 31 episode series that I'm doing on brain injury awareness. Today I'm going to talk about mindfulness and brain plasticity. The last episode we talked about what mindfulness is and then in episode 8 I talked about brain plasticity with a brain injury on how the brain can regrow connections and reestablish networks to be able to restore function that is lost from a brain injury. Brain plasticity also occurs when we are learning a new task. Brain plasticity and mindfulness is going to retrain the brain to be not so overreactive to the variables in life that are causing stress. So remember, mindfulness is when you put your entire mind and focus and energies onto one specific variable. It's being in the moment. And it's not only being in the moment, it's trying to understand and make sense of that that you're focusing on. This is where brain plasticity plays a key role in mindfulness. Because with mindfulness, we want to develop an overall better well-being in life. We want to be able to live in the moment. We want to be able to reduce the amount of stress in our lives. And what are the things that are causing stress? There's variables all around us that we see that we have a natural emotional reaction to these variables. This reaction is based on our historical interaction with these variables. Let me talk a second about emotional responses. In the middle of the brain, we have the limbic system and the amygdala. It's there to help us respond to a threat. It's to help us keep the body alive and avoid injury. That's where the fight or flight or freeze comes in. If someone's gonna attack us, the fight or flight kicks in, the sympathetic nervous system kicks in, and we're ready to prepare for a fight. But over time, we begin to see things that we disagree with, things that bug us, false perceptions of reality, and then the amygdala begins to adapt and think that those are a threat. So these thoughts will automatically come in our head and turn on the stress response when a stress response is not valid. And when that stress response turns on, it begins to release cortisol, different neurotransmitters and hormones turn on and cause damage to our bodies. So through mindfulness, you slowly begin to analyze all these thoughts and you begin to break them apart. And you begin to change your perception. You begin to realize that these things aren't threats. And then over time, your brain through brain plasticity will change. And what was once a threat and was causing a stress response will no longer cause that response. In the previous episode, when I was talking about mindfulness, I talked about studies that have seen that after doing five weeks of mindfulness for about five minutes a day, there was a change. There was a change in the prefrontal cortex, which is a key part for you to be able to break apart your emotions and question the initial emotions. And there was a decrease in volume in the amygdala and the limbic system. Studies have shown with brain plasticity, it takes anywhere for three to five months for that change to completely occur. So just think, if you were to do mindfulness for five months straight, you would totally change the false perceptions that are causing all kinds of stress in your life. And that's just really what I wanted to hit today, the importance of how mindfulness creates a change in the brain for the positive, a change to where none of these negative emotions are impacting you anymore. Join this episode, I'll see you tomorrow. And in the next episodes, I'm going to go through various ways that we can do mindfulness. And I'm going to use my biofeedback that you've seen in episode 10 and that I talked about in the last episode. So you can see the changes in brain waves and the actual changes occurring while I conduct various types of mindfulness. Thank <music> you.